Hi, I'm Chris Merwindos, and hey, you can do this. Engage. Because this is MS Flip Timer. So you might ask, what is this thing? Well, this is another request. This is something that somebody wanted me to make for them. And uh, we're still in January. We're still trying to do the thing where I'm taking a breath and recovering for another year of fiercely trying to do uh, new things. Uh, last year, it led to stuff like Clear Code and K Cathedral and the K Plates, which have had varying different responses, but also console LA and console MC. So it's like I'm earning my keep and it's getting on time to start doing even more. I'm quite looking forward to some of that. I've been doing more in the way of live streaming and uh, am struggling with interesting problems in the, the field of uh, Godot and the Godot engine. But I hear you ask, what the heck is MS Flip Timer other than something that you've been asked for? MS Flip Timer, and I have also learned that people have a real hard time with uh, my videos. As pretty as they might be, it takes me a long time to get to the point apparently. Well, everything's written in the description, so you can just look in the post or look in the uh, website page, and it will say that MS Flip Timer flips between mono and stereo, much like LR Flip Timer did. That's all it does. So I can get this going. And you can hear that this is in mono. I'm pretty sure if I nudge it, it will automatically switch to a different setting. So it'll do something kind of like this. And then as we have it set up, it will, if I'm doing it right, tell you what, if this is wrong, I'll follow up and fix it, okay? The idea, it looks like it says 2.7, so it should be waiting about 2.7 minutes to flip back to being mono again and then it'll wait about 2.7 minutes to flip back to being stereo again. The thing that's confusing me, I guess, is that I've got it set up so that if I flip it around, sometimes it jumps from one thing to another. Our maximum is 10 minutes. And right now what we're getting is a full stereo. And this is one of the tracks from way back when. And it's doing a thing where I've got K Cathedral in the background there. And I have thrown um, Seriously 2 on that to widen it even further. And I've moved the uh, synthesizer over to the side and I've tilted the piano over to the other side. I'm doing things that are making this be a stereo mix. And so the way it works is at some point it's going to kick in the uh, MS flip timer, like right then, and all of a sudden you're dealing with how it would be heard over a phone or in, in strictly in mono. That's all this does. Again, this is a request. I was asked to do this by somebody who saw that I had done LR flip timer. And that's similar to what artists sometimes do when they're composing something, an image, and then flip it horizontally to see whether something looks wildly wrong. The idea here with the original, which was LR flip timer, is to be able to do that automatically so that if anything is wildly off and you're hearing it, you're naturally hearing it one way, 
<coughs> it should be a bit of a reference so that you can check out what it would be like. And there it goes, back to full stereo. Now, whether you need this is another question. Maybe you don't need this. I didn't have it until somebody asked me for it, at which point I went, that sounds like I could do that. Do you think that would be useful to you? And they're like, uh -huh, I would like one of those. And so I made it for them. So if this is something that interests you, then fair enough. Rock on. If not, I don't know why you haven't tuned out already, but um, that's always fine. It's been an interesting January, honestly. I had intended to be more relaxed. And like last January, not this January, but the previous one, I straight up dropped out of sight. I wasn't posting any videos. I just vanished. And that didn't mean I stopped working. I was still doing stuff, but I wasn't posting anything. This year, I'm trying to sort of cover some of the bases that are left behind by my usual flow of stuff and have had some success and some not. In particular, I'm thinking of this device, which I made a little while back and posted it and immediately ran into music theory problems because people who knew what they were doing said, you're calling these note names all wrong and none of this works, which it was for just giving ideas and starting to make music rather than being a music theory tutorial. But stepping into somebody's turf, you want to behave nicely. So I spent a bunch of time revising it and learned things. For instance, I learned how the flats and sharps work by looking at what I was doing with the little side things I have here that depict a picture of which notes you should be playing versus which notes you would not. And in this context, if the new note being introduced is taking over from a note to one side, it is actually a flat. And if it is coming from another side, it's a sharp. And that's seen on different places on the circle of fifths. It all kind of ended up working, but it proved to be a, uh, a pretty stressful week or so getting up to speed on that kind of stuff. Since I had put it out, I didn't feel like just taking it away again. And yeah, there was the release of the sample underlay where I was fixing to do that. And then the build that I had just crashed Reaper while I was trying to make a video about it. And I had to pull right back and do that over again from scratch. And this one hopefully is going to be straightforward. Like, let me know if it's working terribly wrong. What it should be doing is that minutes control should be roughly the number of minutes between flipping between mono and stereo. That's what it is, that's what it is meant to do, of course. If not, I'll fix it. What I'm doing uh, aside from fixing broken things in the past, is I have an interesting new thing coming in, which is a variation on clear coat. I decided to see what it would be like if I had clear coat, but instead of being the delays that I normally use, it was all all passes. And I'm working with that now. It might come out uh, next week. I've got a, a funny sort of compressor thingy called overheads that's uh, another blast from the past and we'll see how that works out whether people find that interesting yeah i am going to be trying to revise the reverbs in particular i love the fact that people enjoy me doing whatever it is that i do that's the main reason that patreon that is the reason I'm here doing any of this. And thank you to everybody who's been involved with it. The whole idea of that is it gives me the freedom to focus on stuff that I consider important, whether or not it's bringing me immediate results. 
And in some ways, I feel like I'm getting immediate results out of the reverbs, but they don't always please everybody. They're not meant to please everybody. But I would like to do, exper like, I would like the total range of experiments to have something for everybody, which it kind of is. And then even in fields like reverbs, which is why I'm doing cloud coat, which is why I'm doing it an all passy version of that. Um, I would like to be able to do something where certain of the reverbs are completely perfect for certain types of listeners, certain types of people. And then other types of people will want a completely different range. And to be able to cover the whole range is what interests me. That said, I'm going to be diving further into trying to get my reverbs more the way I would want them. And then we'll kind of see whether that lines up with what people enjoy in reverb. I mean, if it doesn't, it'll still be what I was after. And so there's, there's that. And it'll get me doing those remixes again that I was in the middle of doing for a little while. And then I realized that the reverbs weren't what I wanted them to be. And I do tend to lean on space in mixes. We'll see what happens. For now, I will talk to you later and probably see you next in February when we start putting out things that are geared to be more interesting to people in general. And that's going to be uh, interesting to give a, give a little try at that. See you then. Bye-bye.